if we didn't love it enough yesterday, we're coming back for more. <laughs> coming back, more time on the bridge. So we're on the different side this morning, hopefully getting a bit more of the sun because the sun's on the east. So uh, let's see if we get a bit of a different experience. This is easy breezy, <laughs> fine. Much easier to do. So much easier. So if you are scared of heights, just go on the bottom. That was nowhere near as scary, was it? No, it was good. All is good, but we want to try and get some steps to walk up now and to the top of the bridge. Why do we do this to ourselves? orange juice, lots of bread, we've got biscuits and fruit, some cheese, and we did have croissants. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, yeah, we're just munching on them. So, hey guys, so just checking in. We've had a bit of a slow day today because the weather hasn't been good. So you saw us this morning, we went on a walk, which was really nice over the bridge. Oh, come on, here's on a distract Helen. Um, Oh, it's loud. But the weather hasn't been too kind today. It's actually been raining uh, and it is still cloudy now. And it's actually quite nippy. So we've, yeah, we've just had a work day today. We've been doing admin and work. But we were gonna go out for the afternoon. It started raining, so we just thought we'd hold out and we're gonna get ready for dinner. You can hear the church bells. So we're gonna get ready, have a bit of Prosecco in the room, get all made up, and then do the last remaining places that we have to see in Porto. So it is time to get ready. But for now, let's open the Prosecco. So we went to the supermarket, bought this a few days ago. Haven't opened it yet, Bobs, so thought I'd open it with you. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. We don't know what this is like. It was pretty expensive for 
European Prosecco, I'd say. Maybe that's because Prosecco is Italian. Is everyone ready for the pop? Oh. Okay, we go. We go. It's coming. It's coming. Is everyone ready for the pop? Ooh. It's not coming. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't. Okay, we're ready now. Okay, three, two, one, go! Oh my God, that Even though I counted you earlier. <laughs> Cheers! Right, let's get our Prosecco. Let's do this. These are really nice glasses. Oh yeah. Cheers! Woo! Right, let's get ready. tonight we're leaving we're leaving porto tomorrow oh is this all it all going <gasps> oh my god that's just oh. wow you want a sip of mine yep <laughs> wow can be your prezzy cheers okay. cheers i don't think i can even move that <laughs> Classy ladies we are. We are classy ladies. <laughs> Cheers, now. Cheers. Woo, this is extra dry. Mm -hmm. Maybe I do like extra dry. because your taste buds are changing. You're getting old. I, I, I don't know if I've discussed this with you, but I'm gonna do 30 things before I'm 30. So I've got just That's less than three really days. That's really interesting, because I said the other day that I want to do like a bucket list of stuff before I'm 30, because I was like, I'm really sad. You've got to hurry up. 30, aren't it? You've All got, right. <laughs> the hell's got about six months, I've got a year. So you can join in with 15 of my things. Okay, well, should we do, should we put yeah. this together? I like, actually, I, like, before I hit 30, I was like, I am definitely writing a 30 before 30. I want to do that. What should I do? What have you got in yours? I don't know what, like, I haven't, no, this is the thing, I haven't written it yet. I hot air balloon. Yeah, did you want me to do hot air balloon? I know you did. I'm yeah. stealing that from you. I want to do hot air balloon. Okay. Uh, I also want to go in a helicopter. I'm not sure if I'm going to be but able to do that But the only thing with a helicopter today, you, you don't want to go to cheap single engines. Mm -hmm. it's, you might die. I like the hot air balloon one, because I always said that I was going to do that on my 18th, but I, I guess 30 is like a nice other one to do it. I was going to buy that for you for one of your birthdays. You actually? Yeah, yeah but then you told me you didn't want to do it anymore, so I was like, oh. Well, you can do it for me before my 30th. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has to be before your 30th, though, if you're going to join. Yeah, this yeah. summer. Mm -hmm. Right, let's do it. Right, mm -hmm. hot air balloon. <laughs> What 30 before 30 can we do tonight? Port and enjoy yeah. it. Ooh, I like that. Drink port in port. We've Porto. never drank port. Mm. We've never drank port in Porto. We should do that. Okay. The only thing is the 30 before 30, we're a bit restricted because, because of COVID. Of the flipping pandemic. Because so of the you pandemic. can't say, I'm going to travel here and here. Yeah, I know. Like... I would have definitely put Japan on my list, but I don't even know if that's a possibility. Mm. Let's add like one more whilst we're here with these folks. <laughs> I know what Helen should be, that what? she hasn't done. Get a bob. <laughs> no way, never. Until I'm old. Dye her orange? Nope. Got a bob. Tick. Dyed my hair orange. Tick. How did that go? The bob looked nice. We got that. tattoos. Oh, get another tattoo before we're 30. I could do that. Ah. I could do Where that. Where should we do it? In Porto? Portugal, no, not in Porto. No, that's way too much pressure. Not in Portugal. I was going to do uh, it in New Zealand, and then I was like, no, I haven't had time to like process it. A small one. Get a small one. Right, 30 before 30, you need tattoo. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. The thing is, we're all, we're both almost 30, but if you say you're old at 30, you're going to say you're old for the rest of your life. So you're basically willing your life away being like you're old. So and we're never going to be... To old. One, it's a privilege to get old. It, that is so true. One, it is a very, very big privilege to get old. Two, we're only, we're only going to be this young Right, Apparently 30s are the best days of your life. 30s are the best days of your life and also we're never going to be this young again. This, mm. mo this moment in time we are the youngest we are ever going to be. Minus one. Minus two. <laughs> okay. Um, 
they say that 30s are the best days of your life because you have your shit together by then. <laughs> maybe this was last generation. So maybe the 40s are going to be the best days of our lives. Yeah, maybe. So that's all good. We've got plenty of time. Yeah. Because time has moved from like yeah, 10 years, I think. So we've still got 10 years of fun. Yeah. And then the 40s are the best days of your lives. Yeah. And then it's 50s where you start feeling like, oh, my knee hurts. I mean, my knee's hurt forever. <laughs> <gasps> oh well, cheers for that. Cheers. 30 is the best years of our lives. Woo! Woo-hoo. So, we're ready. We've taken a few pictures. She's just, Elsa's is looking through the camera to see Look what we've got. One. We've got a few little Wait. sexy. Oh, <laughs> baby. Wow. <laughs> You've got to delete that photo. I mean, you've seen it now, it's hilarious. I mean, I've seen it in real life, but still, I try to avoid it, you've got to delete that photo. Is it just one, or is it? There... No, it's just, it's literally just Ooh, one. Can you just, like, zap it onto your Google Photos and then please delete Look, it? it's just because, one. Yes, I could see. But I think he had a shock, you know, when I took a... Okay, so we're now finally going out. This is the first time. And we worked for our morning walk, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, so this is our first time since this morning heading out. And um, we're gonna go to the <laughs> we're gonna go to the place that we thought we actually saw yesterday, but it wasn't it. That was hilarious, wasn't it? Sorry, what's that? How we thought it was that place and it wasn't even it. Yeah. So yeah. Wrong place, but we're gonna try and hunt it down today. Um, and then we're going to go to a nice restaurant, have some port wine, try and tick off one of the 30 before 30 things and have some port. Hang on. Isn't the port a tonico? Isn't that port? Yeah, it's white port with tonic. So we've already ticked off our 30 before 30? No, because we're going to drink a whole glass of port. <laughs> was that how specific it was? Yeah. Okay. Fabulous. Looks good. Next stop, let's go. So I was using the map and was going to take us that way. Helen spotted through the trees. Let me show you. The beautiful building, which we thought was the other building the other day, wouldn't we? Yeah. We thought it was a completely different building. We've got it, honeys. Yeah. We've got it. Don't know what it's called. We'll enter it here. <laughs> Bing! Uh, but it's the one that everyone goes for some photos in Porto. So, you know, we cannot miss out, can we? This is the square. And we'll let you know what we think. Might even enter a couple of photos here. <laughs> to take the pickies it is beautiful look at how tiled and blue that is wonderful so definitely a photo spot if you're here in Porto and the look at this floor as well actually let me turn it around and you can see Helen look at this floor very nice floor and the beautiful doors church was built in the second half of the 18th century <laughs> <laughs> okay, go -go style I've never heard of that before in 1912, the lateral facade is based by magnificent tower planning designed by Silvestro Silvestri. We pass some trees. They're very beautiful. They're pretty chunks. The sun is out. I reckon we could get a bit of sunset. The vibes are hot. The vibes are hot. The sun is out. We see quite a lot of derelict buildings up in this place. Look at that. Mad. And then look, we've got a little kitty. It reminds me of my tiddles. We've got tiles, it's all beautiful. So this is all very traditional. Look how cute this is. We've got a little uh, thing here. I don't know what it's called. 
Yeah. Oh my God, Hells, this is the road he drove up. It is. Yeah. It's the yeah, road he yeah. drove up. Oh my goodness. It is. Wow. We've seen it from. But it is steep. Like, I think it's too steep to walk up. Never mind, drive up. Isn't it? This is the road that Helen drove up. Like, kudos to her. Because, wow. Yeah, this camera doesn't do justice. I don't really see slow, but they take pictures. It looks flat. Okay, so if this was a ski slope, it could be a red. Yeah. We'll make it a red. Yeah. But this is very steep. We're having to go heel toe, heel toe when we're walking right now. It is very steep. This is where this... he's on my side of the road, right here. Yeah, oh look, see? This is what Helen had to deal with. <laughs> she actually did. It was intense. Well, we know where we are. I know, yeah. So we've got down to the Riviera place, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And we are trying to look for a little jaunt for... <gasps> Let's do una na na in this thing. Okay, see how far we can get. Okay. You ready? Yeah, but I don't actually know it. Okay. Ooh na na na, ooh na na na, ooh na na, ooh na na, ooh 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 na na na. Oh no, you got it. Ooh na na na. And I don't know whether I did or not. One, two, one, two, three. Is it? Or is it one, two, three, four? One, two. I have to go that way. Ah. I don't know. Check out ooh na na na. I will link it down below. Oh, na na na. <laughs> And we're about to experience some kind of wine cave or I'd rather, would you rather have the view though? Mm -hmm. Than the cave, yeah. Yeah, I would rather have the view. So we might sit outside a cave <laughs> and hopefully get a good wine experience but also get a good view. So we'll check back once we've decided where we're going. So we have come to Sancho Panza in Guia, which is just opposite. Oh, you're not even there. Gaia. 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 G A I A. G Gaia, which is opposite uh, Porto, which is just over here. Um, so we didn't really know where to go. We're quite hungry. We just found this place with a view. We've come to this place. Uh, they have red, white, and green wine. <laughs> green wine. So we went for green wine because when else can you have green wine, right? And look at it. And best thing about it, 10 euros for one bottle. So let's, do you want to do the honours? Mm. Here's the green one. Here it is. It's actually like a sparkling kind of thing. A bit of sparkling going on. Right. So, cheers to that. Mm -mm. Not bad. Mm -hmm. This has a little ridiculous. It's you. 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 It's
glass of green wine. What's wine in Portuguese? Yum, yum, yum. So we're both blanketed up. Here we are. Elsa's just blanketing herself up. And basically, what we think. Do you want to come in? So, what we think. <laughs> Bebo. Is the green wine. Let's see, does it look. Yeah, it does look quite. It does. It does look, you it's in that. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that tinge of green. Um, and I think that it's like the very first, like it doesn't ferment for as long, that's why it's quite like fresh and very bright. Is it right? The opposite. You know like banana go is green at first and then it goes yellow. We're eating, well we're drinking the very first bits, like the green grapes, I think. Might have made that up, but we're gonna go with it. So cheers. Cheers. And we've got, if I keep going, the view of the bridge. It's there. Lovely jubbly. Amazing. Wowie, wowie, wow. Okay, we've got oh, really? this. Cool. Okay, let's go. Very let's nice. do this. Perfect. Okay. So we've got Padron Peppers, and what's this called? Chorizo. Oh yeah, chorizo. Obrigada. <laughs> 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 We've got a flaming chorizo and some padron peppers and some green you sparkling wine. We have, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how we, we get it. Turn it round. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do this. Um, we did say we had to turn it ourselves, which we forgot to do last time. I feel like we're on D of E, cooking our food. Yeah, they took the light handle. Over a Bunsen burner. No, was it? Not a Bunsen burner. A Trangia. I love the way that. I think we're supposed to do this, you know, the first time we had this, we made the way to get coming over to Yeah, forward. yeah, and I, we didn't know we had to do it ourselves, but I feel like we're cooking on a trangia, do you? We are. Yeah, you are, sorry. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious, really delicious. Well done, Hells. Good cooking. So, Helen's PS de Resistance has come. It's her uh, bread. So, Helen's pissed. <laughs> Helen's pissed because her sausage fell in the alcohol. And she's drank it all I'm going to pour it some more green vino. Yeah, it looks really green here. Look how green that is. We're drinking very ripe. We you know. So here you go. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. It's sparkling as well, guys. Mm. How about similar? Yeah. Okay. So we're drinking sparkling green um, vino. Cheers. Uh, Felicidadios. 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 And then we've got our bread with chorizo and cheese. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. god. Get in my belly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, that's delicious. Look at it. Oh my god. How much cheese? What? Oh my god. We weren't going to have any cups, but we're going for it. <laughs> Wow, we wow. So much for no carbs, that's hilarious. Yep, that is absolutely hilarious. Delicious food, don't get us wrong. We just haven't had this much cheese. We've had more cheese tonight than we have, have had in like a month, I would say. I haven't eaten this much cheese in a whole month. Not at all. 
so it's making my mouth tickle you know when it's like so cheesy it's like tickly tickly but it's so good you went through your wine very fast i know i feel like i feel like i'm too treating it like a digestive kind of vibe Genepe. It's green, so I'm thinking it's herby, like Genepe is, and it's digesting all of the cheese. <laughs> We've been defeated. No. We've been defeated of the mushrooms. We need yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms, now. mushrooms out the way. Go on, house. It's like. Bruce C. Bruce. No, sorry. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's me. But do you feel like Bruce C? Don't have it if you're not enjoying it, right? I am. It's good, but it's. It's going in my belly. That's disappeared in that. They've gone. They've just gone. <laughs> the little bit. <laughs> the two pack. I'll be a full pack. Now one big pack. One pack. What? How long would you say the walk is back? Like half an hour? I think we'll have to stop for a while on the way back. Okay, alright. See you there. Bye. Whoa, mid you on. Hi guys, so it's our last day in Porto today, which is really sad, but the sun is <laughs> out. I know. The sun is out. This is where we've been staying, just here. Uh, there's the famous train station and that beautiful building. And we are heading to oh are you okay <laughs> to a little place for coffee and the um famous cakes that you're meant to have in porto or portugal which we haven't had yet but you know I, where of, from? I don't know but i would but yeah i definitely like somewhere in the sun this is nice tiles look at these tiles they're like 3d <gasps> That was an odd one, wasn't it? What? That's a... Wow. That's very odd. So we've come basically opposite our residences. Well, that's interesting. If you order an iced coffee in Portuguese, it says in brackets espresso is ice. So an iced coffee is no milk. Yeah. Which is what we got the other day. Yeah. So iced coffee. We're having a, a we frappe. Milky Way cappuccino. Espresso caramel syrup, milk, whipped cream, chocolate powder. Oh my god, that's like your dream. That sounds amazing. Wow. Okay, why so not, why did we not come here before? But it's literally opposite where we've been staying. You can see where you can see our room like there. They're very nice. It's called the Traveller Food and Drink Journey. Um, right opposite the train station. Highly recommend, although we haven't actually had anything just yet. Are you excited? <laughs> Yeah. And we've got our pasties de noir, is it? No. <laughs> I will write it on the screen right now. But there we go. And another iced coffee. Heaven, hey? Yum, it's so good. Is it? Cheers. Okay, let's go. How much was it? It was five ninety for two coffees and two cakes. That is good, isn't it? Yeah. It is cheap. Usually in Starbucks, it could be like five ninety for the, just one coffee. Yeah. Marry me. We've just had that delicious cheap caramel um, coffee. That's where our car park is. Actually, let me show you. That's where we have to go a bit later with our cases. And we're going into a tile shop to potentially buy some prezzies for people and then we're going to have a last little walk around beautiful Porto.
areas. It was one of the poorest areas, but now it's one of the prettiest areas. And it it's is. It's just that everyone from this area comes to fill their water bottles from here ah. because even now they've got water running to their houses. Their grandmas did it, and their great grandmas did it, and so they continue the tradition. Wow. Well done, Helen. Thank you for that. There we go. Fabulous little uh, insight. It's really pretty though, isn't it? <laughs> so that lady was saying that decorations were there because they are celebrating St. John the Baptist. They're not really allowed to properly celebrate because of the pandemic, but they just do little street decoration like that, I guess, for some kind of celebration. So, we're just coming to the river for the last time. And it looks, oh sorry, it looks wonderful, doesn't it? Mm. Forgotten what it looks like in sun. Yeah. But look at it. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> So that's it folks, we've said goodbye to the Riviera bit down the bottom, now we've got to walk all the way up the hill to check out of our Porto pad and then Hells is going to drive us to the National Park. So I'll check in with you in the car but that is goodbye to lovely Porto. Nothing. 